Hello again. It has been a while, but now we're doing another haul and a little bit of a story. So as you may or may not be aware, I was at Origins this past weekend, actually from Tuesday night through Sunday. And on the drive back, uh, my friend and I, we stopped at a place called Grandpa's Cheese Barn. And it is south of Cleveland. And they sell cheese and like meat stick type stuff. And they've also got a chocolate shop off to the side. And so I'd gone into the chocolate shop to look around and decided to pick up a couple of things. And while I was in line, I wasn't really paying close attention. I was concentrating on something. Don't even remember what it was. And then I kind of became half aware that there was a conversation going on behind me that basically had to do with my t-shirt. And I was wearing one of the Brixar Tipper Truck Army t-shirts. Uh, and the, it sounded like the guy who was with the group uh, was telling them about the tipper trucks and how the guy had made uh, a really big one, and I was just like, but I wasn't 100% sure what I was hearing. I was just kind of like filtering in and out. It was, I'd been a long week. I had a lot of fun, but I was a little tired. But that is kind of a little story, so maybe somebody watching this recalls that because maybe they were in Grandpa's Cheese Barn and making those comments. That would be funny. Um, but anyway, so the haul is actually what's underneath the t-shirt. I used the t-shirt to block that stuff. So this bag is stuff that I bought while I was at Brick, uh, not Brick World, but at the Origins, the gaming convention. So, uh, first we'll start off with this pin. Uh, it's just a pin of like a Lego head and kind of like a pumpkin slash skeleton -y kind of look. Or it's the skeleton and then the regular Lego head one on the side. I got two of that pin. Uh, there's the other one. And I also got two stickers of the same thing, as you can see right there. And then I picked up these two posters, which are identical. Let me get them out here. Um, and I'm not really sure why I got two. I mean, the posters were buy one, get one for five bucks. But I was like, okay, I'll spend the little extra money and get a second one. And there wasn't any other posters that I was particularly enamored of. These were the only ones that he had that were Lego related, so I decided to get two of it. And that is the poster right there. So it's fairly simplistic. Uh, they don't say Lego on the studs because he couldn't do that. But I thought it was kind of neat. And you know, put that up on a wall so and I have two of those now. Maybe I will use it as a giveaway or something like that. I'm not certain. We will see. And then the other thing was something that arrived. Uh, it was shipped to my friend's house. And since we were going there first, I was able to pick it up and bring it home because I left my car there. And that is this. This is the Lego Technic Ferrari Daytona SP3, the Sense of Perfection Limited Slipcase Edition book. Uh, as you can see on the cover of the book here, the cellophane is ripped a little bit on the side and there's some bumps around on it a little bit, but it really looks in nice shape overall. And the limited number I got was 668. So you could say I missed by two getting number 666, which kind of would have been funny. But in any case, not bad for an addition of 5,000 getting one that's under 1,000. In any case, uh, that is what I have for my haul today. I also want to thank all the new subscribers because I've been noticing in like in the last week to 10 days after I stopped doing videos every day and I've just been trying to do the vlog, I've actually been going up. It seems faster than it had been more recently. So maybe people were put off by having too many videos all the time. I'm not certain, but I'm up to like 443 or, 543 or something like that. And it's, that's like 10 or 12 more than when I stopped doing daily videos. So that's pretty cool. And I appreciate that. Uh, and thanks again, and we will probably have a really long vlog come next weekend, or perhaps Monday or even Tuesday, because I'm going to Brickworld on Wednesday, and I will be there through Sunday. I won't go back home until late Sunday night, but then uh, Monday or Tuesday, I'll try to get a vlog out of all the stuff that I saw at Brickworld, and that could be lengthy. I might even break it up into a couple of parts. We'll see how it goes, how much footage I actually get. There's a lot of people there. Uh, I know MNR Productions is supposed to be there. I think Talk Bricks is supposed to be there. And I, I imagine there's going to be several more people there. So I'll see what I can do about meeting some of these people. Um, we'll see if I, if I put a much of that on video. I may not. It's just I'm not necessarily terribly outgoing when it comes to that sort of thing. So we will see how it goes. But anyway, thank you very much and have a great day.